Alright, so tapped up and welcome to Let's Play Lovely Planet Arcade. Apparently published by Tiny Belt. Uh, the original game, Lovely Planet, was, um, let's check out the settings here. I wonder what the handicap does. Hmm. Uh, so the original game was, uh, let's put on that. Wait, did that? Yeah. Controls? Uh, let's just do a caveyard mouse. I heard this is a pretty Doom-like sort of game. Uh, a review copy of this game was provided by the publisher. I uh, have not played it before now. I, I thought I would just jump right in. Yes, Parker, that's right. So the original game was sort of a speed run. Oh, it's very Doom-like. It uh, does not, in fact, have uh, up and down looking. It's just kind of cool. Walk into pillar. Oh! Shooter! <laughs> the, I believe there, it is actually Japanese, so... I, I'm not sure if the English is intentional or not. It doesn't really pose a problem. I guess it is a lot like the original. So the original, it's like a speedrun platformer. I guess this is much more shooter, much less platformer than that game. It's even got the weapon in the middle of the screen, uh, Doom sort of thing going on here. So in the original, you uh, had to shoot everything that was red, and uh, there was some obtuse stuff. Like there are certain times when a red ball would fly up in the air, and you had to shoot it. It was like a you know a clay shooting sort of thing, where it rises up in the air and then falls down, and you actually would die if the red thing. Oh, that's a friendly. Okay. You would actually die if the red thing touched the ground. There was really no visual feedback whatsoever, other than the thing touching the ground. Which makes very little sense on its own. Does the red stuff kill you? Yes. See, that, that was a common theme in the first game. So, this is seeming a lot more approachable. I did- I really love the look of the original one, and it- I think if you're a speedrunner, it's probably, you know, Probably pretty great. It's designed all around speed, as this game is, too. Um, huh? Yeah, it, I guess that guy shot me. M my bullets, you know, erase their bullets, which is actually pretty cool. Overcome. Is this not even... Do we not have to touch the pillar in that one? I saw... Aw, bullets! <laughs> okay. See, I liked the idea of the original one, but it was a bit obtuse, and um, this seems to be a lot more clear in what it's providing, and it's all about the gun, you know, it's all about the gunplay, there's, it's missing that platforming element, which, uh, honestly, first-person platforming, it's a little iffy at its finest, you know, I would say Portal is about one of the peaks of uh, first-person platforming, it, it's still pretty wonky sometimes. Wasn't too great. Uh, so, oh, <sighs> okay. So that is exactly what there is in uh, Lovely Planet One, but uh, it gives you some visual feedback now because in the original, the bombs just disappeared, and there was no. It didn't draw your attention to what had happened. You just died. Uh, it was very confusing, and there's some very precise platforming. Uh, fairly early on. Huh? Okay, yeah, it panning over to the bomb and saying bomb is actually extremely useful because the original game would not do that. The original game would just mirthfully let you die, having absolutely no idea of what had happened. Ah, oh, did you see that star disappear? Overcome. Okay, so this is... This has all of the speedrun roots of the original game. I wasn't sure of that. I, I didn't mind the speedrun stuff. It's uh, It was just pretty obtuse. But uh, it, it was always like a Katamari speedrun first-person shooter, which is a really weird mix. And uh, it, it didn't work quite as well as I would have hoped. Uh, visually, it was basically perfect. And the... The graphics mi was such a weird mix next to the, you know, intensity of the thing. And I think this works a lot better. It's a lot more forgiving. The original... It was more of a challenge 
there's two different types of way to make a game challenging. Well, there's more than two ways, but I mean, there's a difference between when you make a game challenging to do perfectly versus how challenging it is to just get through the level. Like, that's something I really like about N++. It's an extremely difficult game to 100%. It is not an easy game to just beat all of the levels, but it is drastically more doable to beat all of the levels than it is to, you know, um, get all of the gold. Missed coin. What do you mean, missed coin? Oh, there's a jump button? Ugh. Oh, I'm on silence right now. There's a jump button in my Doom game? How... How dare they? How dare they? That's right, Parker. Yeah, you tell them. <laughs> so I guess you gotta jump for the coins. At least if they're in the air. Uh, that makes sense. That's... I'm not actually mad. Parker, it's just kind of funny. Because it's going for the whole Doom thing. And uh, something I rather don't like is, you know, you can break a lot of the level design in the original Doom games with, uh... Oh, that's cute! With uh, the ability to jump, and a lot of people just put that on there because, you know, they turn on jump in their source port just because, I mean, it's a first-person shooter, you gotta have the jump, right? And, you know, Doom's basically a 2D game, and they design a lot of levels around you not being able to jump. There's actually a lot of cool speedrun tricks around... Ah, crap. You not being able to jump... Ah, okay, okay. I like that the shot pierces, and so you gotta... Sometimes you gotta kinda line up... your shot with a different thing. I like these levels where you just have to kill everything. Uh, huh? I kinda enjoy that more than the, uh... I guess you can't activate those yet. Well, we're not going to get the best time. If you dawdle at any point... Uh, if you dawdle at any point, you're probably not going to get three stars. Maybe even if you don't dawdle, you're probably not going to get three stars. Huh? Oh. Pillar. Right. So, yeah, I really like that we're not being stopped constantly because of execution barriers. Um, this feels a lot more casual, but not... A game can feel, it's, it's less, it's more forgiving. I wouldn't say it's more casual, you know, obviously doing well in this game is probably not particularly much less grueling than uh, doing so in the original. Or in the first game, rather. It's not like this is a remake or anything. I think I was supposed to just get that coin, wasn't I? That, that is something that I'm a little unclear about. I, I don't know whether I'm going into a shoot everything level or a touch the pillar level. Huh? Oh, I, I guess there was a bullet. The piercing is a neat aspect. Um, oof. Also, despite being Doom, we do not have Doom movement speed. This seems to be as fast as I can go. Oh, we've got fog now. I will say, visually speaking, this feels a lot more limited than uh, Lovely Planet did. It's all very... Yeah, it's all the same theme. Lovely Planet. I guess it was like similar theme, but uh, Lovely Planet just feels... Parker, Parker, Parker. Not, not the right game for this. My cat just ran in front of my screen. Um, I guess fog is an extreme difficulty factor now. Okay, you gonna sit nice? Ah. See, it's not easy because of the the timing thing, but uh, I'm still getting through levels. You know, I'm not being stopped constantly, and that feels a lot better for me. It doesn't mean that a speedrunner can't enjoy, you know, playing the level a thousand times to try to get the, uh, the very best times. Uh, I'm sure there's leaderboards and stuff, and, you know, just trying to retry until you get three stars, obviously. You know, you could do that. Personally, I just want to beat the game the first time before I worry about trying to get all the stars. So, uh, this is definitely much more to my speed, so to speak. So he turns out the lights? Huh? Yummy. 
I don't get it. Alright, so... Am I just supposed to not shoot that guy, or...? Oh! He has to be the last one. Okay, I get it. See, that was a little less clear, but I... I at least knew that shooting him was the problem. Which... Is more than the first game sometimes would do for me. I... I have no idea of what my level progress is right now. Like, I see a lot of dots. And sometimes I have less dots, sometimes I have more dots. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that, to be quite honest. Like I said, first time playing. Oh, that's some, that's my bullets! Oh, I, I figured I just had infinite bullets. I don't think I've run out of shots yet. Oh, and this one you seem to have exactly enough bullets. Um, oh, Act 2! Alright, I was just wondering. Ah. Oh. We only got three stars. It's probably just your minimum star count. Uh, actually, we did pretty bad in quite a few. Anyway, I guess there are three acts. Maybe that's why visual variety hasn't been so high. Maybe this is a totally different theme. We got portals and shields and a guy with a dot on his belly. Uh, okay then. Oh yeah, this is like a more Western theme, I guess. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh, I get it. Yeah, there's a quick reset button, as you might expect, from a speedrun game. Is there a name for that, like, a genre, the genre that's like... I just call them speedrun, like speedrun platformers, or... I mean, this isn't a platformer, though, so... So, ah. Oh. <laughs> they even have the little pickle Um, The German... Killing? It doesn't actually have the spike, so it's not really a proper Pilkelhaba, but uh, it looks kind of like one. Also, that that you can't tell me that's not the Sonic Ring collection sound effect when I get the hello. Okay, don't don't go into that. There's a bomb. There's a bomb. Where's the where's the bomb? Oh. You have to immediately get into that then, I guess. I guess we are getting a little bit on the uh, obtuse side. But the levels are so short and small. The the Lovely Planet levels got pretty big pretty fast. I think the original Lovely Planet, one of the biggest problems was just... Fairly early on, there's a pretty big and pretty hard level. ah that I think a lot of us got stuck on. And it has, like I said, those red ball things that rise and fall and then you die when they hit the ground. Uh, they're, they're not clearly... Is, is that a hit scan weapon? Um, I think that is a hit scan weapon. If you don't... Damn it. If you don't know what a hit scan... Um, in Doom, there's two kinds of weapons. There's projectiles and there's hit scans. Projectiles are the classic Doom thing. Oh crap! Whew. I think that was probably 0.02 seconds off of uh, that um, three stars too. Um, in Doom, projectiles are like the purple things these guys are shooting. And um, you have a chance to dodge those because you know they're actually there and you can move around and dodge them. Hit scans are just instant shots. And hit scans are generally used as, you know, proxies for real bullets in video games. Painful. Because I mean bullets obviously aren't instant, but nothing's instant. Um but they are not meaningfully slow. In fact, games like Borderlands have sort of unrealistically slow bullets, but they're still pretty fast. It's kind of an interesting mix of the two concepts. Damn it. See, so yeah, that that guy has a hit scan, and basically you just have to kill him immediately. Oh! Or you'll be dead. And our gun is hit scan. And that's, that's actually where a lot of the cool so gameplay stuff in Doom comes from, beca simply because uh, you have hit scan guns, mostly. Um, and. Oh! The enemies are mostly projectile shooting things, so. You have a great capacity to dodge, while your enemies mostly don't. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. 
Oh, I keep forgetting that guy. It's the same guy I died to last time. Ah, oh, come on! Okay. I'm wondering what the handicap thing is. Oop. Oop. Oh, come on, man! Oh, this level's a little longer than I would like it to be. I'm not sure how crazy far I'm going to get in this. Um, I just wanted to take a quick... I I'm not sure why I decided to play this game tonight. Um, I... Ah, for Pete's sake. I knew it was going to be a hard game. Uh, I figured they would have learned from their original game and made it a little less obtuse. But... Uh, I don't think a game necessarily has to have, you know, a gritty or, like, dangerous look to it to be dangerous or, like, to, you know, be a hardcore game. But, uh... It can definitely catch you by surprise a little. The but anyway, just because it's a cute game, it's not mean it's gonna be easy on you. I see you there. Where is that bomb gonna come from? What's with the bombs? I can't shoot the bombs. I'm confused. I'm scared. Missed enemy. Missed enemy. What do you mean missed enemy? What do you mean missed? What do you mean? Yeah, it's raining. Can you hear that? You probably can. It's pretty loud. I, I'm, I'm very confused as to... We're getting into the confusing ones. I figured this would happen, but... Uh, yeah, it's getting a little late, so I'll probably... Uh, are we missing an enemy? Uh, I wonder if I can skip things. I don't think I can shoot those... Um... I can't shoot those. Um, if I get too stumped, I'll probably call it quit. Like, you, you, you get the point, right? Hopefully. Oh, come on. I don't think I can get that guy that way. See if I can skip the level. You can. Good. That that's a vital feature in my opinion of lots of puzzle games. Like this is basically, you know, a puzzle game in a sense. You know, it's a speedrun puzzle game. That is a you know first person. Oh. But you know, you're basically you're trying to figure out the puzzle is the optimal route. And you gotta, you know, logic it out. Alright. We won that one. Alright, when I find one more level that I can't figure out how to do, I'm gonna call this quits. Ah, oh, hit scan. Delightful- Oh, He's got a bomb on his head. I don't know why I decided to say that that way. But it, it surprised me. I, I would not personally recommend putting bombs on your head. I hope Parker isn't- Parker is kind of getting in the way. Ah, oh, goddammit. I hope he's not messing up the audio. Parker messing things up for me would... That's not new. Oh, hey! This music kind of slightly reminds me of the Splatoon weird, dumb noises music. I'm not a fan of the song that I'm referring to. Um, I appreciate Splatoon's like general feel and stuff, but this is the song that's like... <laughs> Parker's glaring at me. I don't. I don't like that song. I, I don't like dumb vocals in general. Um, and I don't. Oh, I keep forgetting that guy's hit scan. And the guns. They don't have the gun drawn, and that's your hint. But I keep forgetting that Mom's spaghetti's dope. Um, sorry, I just memed on you. So you kind of get the point. Out, out. Spikes! Do the spikes hurt? No, they don't. 
I do think there could be a bit more visual variety. It's, um... It's not bad, though. It's, uh... It's just a little weird coming in from, um... Lovely Planet. You kind of expect a sequel to be better in sort of every way, and then you kind of judge it unfairly if it's, you know, more different than it is better. Uh, that's not really a fair thing to do, but it, it's kind of hard to not, you know. We're not always fair in our judgment processes. And, uh... Okay. Yeah, I like the sort of trick-shooting aspect, though. That's pretty cool. I- oh, oh! Come on. I knew I shouldn't have crossed that barrier with, um... Oh, that's an enemy's count! I do have infinite ammo. That's the count of the enemies, so I should have known there were still enemies left from that thing, I guess. Ah, oh, god damn it. Alright. I'm starting to get a teeny bit frustrated, so I should probably... I should probably... Yeah, it's getting a little late, and... I kind of figured I wouldn't get super far in this, but I wanted to show it off, and I thought I would like the concept a bit more than I like playing it like I, I don't tend to go for too much of the speed runny platform stuff nah, de well it depends on the game um, N++ did a really good job of balancing you know the, the feeling of mastery versus you know there's more to do I felt very satisfied by completing the levels normally and I never felt there's always I really love that in N++ I kind of wish I did more videos on that. Um, it's coming to Steam, by the way, if you didn't get to play it on PS4, so uh, no more excuses. But M++ just did a, did a really good job of letting you... Uh, you know, there's so many levels, and... If you got stuck on one, there was always another set of levels unlocked that you can play those instead. Oh, come on! Uh, huh? I got some sort of bullet time by killing that dude. Oh! He had a square. The, the, the square's bullet time, I guess. Uh, now this music is reminding me of sushi rolls! No, not of sushi rolls. Um, it's reminding me of that Splatoon thing that I don't like. Ah! Splatoon music thing that I don't like. I, I'm not saying I don't like Splatoon. Please do not shoot me. Ah, oh, come on! I, I just said please don't shoot me! Ah, oh, these Splatoon fans are vicious. Okay. Whew. Painful. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. You know, I I'm gonna beat this le one level. I can't let this level beat me. And then... Oh. Okay. Wait, let me see what level I'm at. Uh, 15. I'm gonna take one peek at level. Yeah, I think you probably unlock. There's probably 30 in each. Oh, they're, they're moving now. Oh, there's a dude that appears. Okay. Can I jump over the spikes? No. Anyway, it's really coming down there. Well, this is Lovely Planet Arcade. Um, It's half what I expected, half not quite what I expected, but. Uh, Still a very good looking game. Um, we'd like a little more visual variety, but uh, yeah, if you like Doom and you like sort of going fast in video games, that's that's your game, I guess. Is that right, Barky? Is that right, Bark? Yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Can you hear the pets? Aggressive petting intensifies. Yes, who's the pets? Yes. Ugh, you're gonna make me all itchy. You know that? You know that? You make humans itchy. You don't appreciate that, do you? Because you're already covered in fur. Yes.